Hey everybody, this is Chris. Today I'm going to show you the proper tools and techniques to split a log with a wedge and sledge. Now this is not for firewood. This is to split a log the long way so you can use it for future woodworking projects. I'll be splitting four logs today. Two cherry, one walnut, and one hickory. In terms of safety equipment, I wear leather gloves, wrist straps, and of course, safety glasses. For small to medium sized logs, I use a standard metal wedge. And then for larger logs, once I get it started with a metal wedge, I use these larger handmade wooden wedges. Now one wedge I won't use is one that's mushroomed over. This piece can fly off and they're white hot and they can take your eye out. Certainly you wear safety glasses, but you don't want to use these. You want to file these off or cut them off so they have a nice square corner. For the sledgehammer, I prefer a four pound head. Uh, this is much easier to swing with a short handle and that gives me much more accuracy. The first thing we want to do is inspect the logs for knots and see how we can take them out of the equation. On the smaller log, there's no obvious knots, i.e. branches coming out, big bumps. But if you look right here, you can see where the, the bark pattern's a little different. This is where there once was a limb that probably got knocked off and the bark grew over, but this is a knot right here. Now to deal with knots, you want to make the split go right at the knot because the split will eventually go around the knot and your knot will be on one side and the other side should be clean. Actually, I, I pointed out the knot right there at the top, but there's also a knot right here in the middle. Now this one's more important because this knot in the middle could screw up the entire log because again, it's right in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split towards the center of this knot versus one at the top because I'll have much more usable wood if I take this knot in the center out. On the larger log, there's some obvious things here. First of all, there's a split where another limb was coming out. And this whole area right here, that's a lot of interlock grain, huge knots right there. Then there's another one similar to the small log. Again, you can see how the it's, it's kind of bumpy. The bark pattern's a little different. That's also where there's a knot. Here's the knot. I'm going to be splitting it straight down the middle over the knot. So I'm going to put a couple wedges in on each side to keep this from moving around. Also one on the end so it doesn't move back. Okay, I've got my log fixed in place. The knot I want to go around is right here on top. So I'm going to start my wedge here, right on the top corner, drive it in, take the split to the bottom, and then with progressive wedges, take the split straight down the log. And you can basically steer the wedge, you can basically steer the split where you want it to go. Now once again, the knot is here on top, so I'm going to go straight down the middle of both of these and guide the split with the wedges. Okay, you can see the split's going sideways here, so I'm going to correct it.
Okay, right here's the knot. It's going around the knot right here. I don't want it to go this way, so I'm going to put one on the other side of the knot to make sure it goes straight. Here you can see the split went around the knot. So I'm just gonna chop this out. You see the knot ends up on this side. You can see there's some fibers that are still hanging on to keep it from coming apart. So I'm just going to take my axe and chop them off. Hey, I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see what happens with these logs. And you can follow the progress of my projects on Instagram, at Chop with Chris. Thank you. Please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, at Chop with Chris. The things I do for you to get just the right shot.